Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, to show. Uh, good evening, welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you. Uh, welcome. Please uh, turn on your cameras. Um, uh, please make sure that you have full name, Griselda Mejia Garcia. Uh, you have to need, you need to have two names and two last names. Okay, so let's see, it's time for the class. Let's see, faltan todavía que ingresen algunos. Okay. Sí, let me see, let me see. Okay, nice. Rodrigo, appreciate your cameras. Marisol, Liliana, Rosalie, Nelson, uh, Darlene, it's right there. Tiffany, nice. Okay, so it's really hard, right? Jenny Marisol. It is really, really hot, even though it's kind of like raining, but it's extremely hot. Okay, so Barasli, how are you, Barasli? Ready for the class? Good evening. Yes, I ready for the class. It's a pleasure. Okay, very no, very good, very nice. So you are ready for the class. Okay, nice. 
So let's see, Nelson, what about you, Nelson? So how you feel today? Hi, Miss, good evening. I'm good. Okay, perfect, you are good, okay? You look very relaxed. Uh, nice, Liliana, Jamilet, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I am hungry. <laughs> My goodness, you are hungry. Probably you haven't had dinner yet. So, but don't worry, you can be eat, eating, right? So you can eat something during the class, but something small, right? Nice. Okay. Tiffany, tell us, Tiffany, what is uh, today date? Mm. Tuesday and thirty and John twenty twenty three. Okay, nice. So today is uh Tuesday, right? Tuesday uh June thirteen, right? Uh two thousand and twenty three. That's the date. So uh this is the second day for the week and this is the last week right remember we have two more classes next uh tomorrow and next thursday and the course this level it's over right so you are in the last uh dates okay and uh, we are going to try to take advantage of the time and do you know uh, all the activities that we have for the date and uh, don't forget that um, we are working in the platform, right? So the idea is that today and tomorrow we need to finish all the exercise, right? The other 50% for section number five. And also the, um, the final quiz, right? The final exam, that's what we have for this week. Please try to do it, try to work on time. So in that way, so you won't be like running at the end. Okay, so let me start with the attendance. Just let me move on myself to the uh, file right here for the attendance. Um, like always, please, um, let me know if you are here, right? So let's see, this is the group two. Okay, so Barosli Rosales. Good evening. Brenda, nice. Brenda Lisbeth. Uh, then we have um, Damaris Lisette. I'm here. Nice. Okay, let's see, Elisa Maria. Present. Nice, Elisa. Javier Enrique. Eh, Jose Rodrigo. Jose yes, Rodrigo. Me. Okay, nice. Eh, Josué Rubén. Josué Rubén. No. Juan de Jesús. Juan de Jesús. No. Eh, Karen Elizabeth. Present. Nice. Catherine Griselda. Present. Nice. Leticia Margarita. Present. Nice. Eh, Liliana Abigail. Present. Nice. Liliana Chamilet. Present. Nice. Let's see Marcos Alberto. Good evening, present Miss. 
Good evening, sir. Nice. Eh, Mario Alfonso. Mario Alfonso. Marlon Alexander. Good evening, teacher. Present. Nice, sir. Eh, Milena de Los Ángeles. Milena, no. Eh, Miriam Darlene. Present, Miss. Nice. Mirna Griselda. Present. Nice. Mónica Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Mónica. Nelson Vladimir. Present, Miss. Nice. Eh, let's see, Reina Margarita. Reina Margarita, no. Eh, Ronald Rafael. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Nice. Sandra Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Okay, Sandra. Sonia Beatriz. Present. Okay. Tiffany Guadalupe. Present. Okay, let's see. Jenny Giselle. Present. Nice. Giselle. Jane, Jenny Marisol. Present, Miss. Nice. Yesenia Guadalupe. Okay, good evening. So let me just double check right here something. And so remember, we are going to validate at the end, right? So Yesenia Guadalupe. Okay, so let me uh, share the screen right here. And uh, we are going to we are going to have this reading, okay? So this is the last part that we have from the unit that we are now. And we are going to start today the, the new unit, right? So let's see, let's read. This is the job profiles. What do we say that is jobs? ¿Qué dijimos que era? Profesión, trabajo. Trabajo. Perfiles de trabajo. Right. Ocupaciones. So in this case, Nelson, <clears throat> profile, job profiles. Perfiles de trabajo. Perfiles, right? So perfiles, como cuando usted anda buscando empleo y usted dice, este trabajo es para mí, porque todo lo que piden es como lo que yo soy o como lo que yo tengo, right? So that's you, you match with the profile. Okay, it says, look at the photos, which job looks the best? Okay, look at uh, an actress, a video game tester. We have a dog walker, dog walker and, and we have a teacher. Okay, so which one do you oh, think please. that is the 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 best? Okay, which job looks uh, the best? Okay, so let's see, let's read because we can say, for example, ah, oh, be a video game tester. It will, could be amazing. or would be amazing. Can be right. But we don't really know the schedule. We don't really know the pressure, the pressure, right? That this person may have. So let's read, okay? So let's start with the actress. Uh, she's Elisa Parker. So do we have any volunteer to read Elisa? Yeah, Miss, I am. Okay, so Liliana will be first and then Berosli, okay? So then Marlon, so then Marco. So we have four, there you go, okay? So Lisa Parker, so Liliana, Berosli, Marlon, Marco. So let's start with Liliana. Please help us with Lisa Parker. Okay, Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night. But she's really an actress during the day. She 
auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Okay, perfect. Lisa Parker, she has two jobs. Imagine she works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress, right? During the dates, she audienced for plates and television shows. Her schedule, schedule, listen, schedule, okay? A schedule, okay? Her schedule. ¿Qué dijimos que era schedule? Itinerario, ¿Qué? horarios. El horario, ok. El horario de ella es difícil. Her schedule is difficult. And she's tired a lot, but she's following her dreams, ok. So imagine she has two jobs. During the day, she's trying to get a position, right, in a play or in a television show. But at night, she's serving food. She's an act. She's a waiter, right? So imagine that's not easy, right? But she's following her dreams. So the good thing is that she's doing something that she really like. Do we have new words right here? Alguna palabra que no se comprenda? A schedule, right? A schedule, a schedule, a schedule. So yo le digo, hey, what is your schedule? Oh, I have classes every day from eight to 10. Oh, from eight to nine, right? So that is uh, your schedule. So let's continue. Uh, Berosli, you are with the number two, that this is a video game tester, video game tester. Go ahead, Berosli. Okay. Lots of ginger, one young blues jock. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. It is ever boring. Never John almost always win. I thank you. So let's see, he is John Blues. So that is his name, right? So uh, it says right here, a lot of teenagers, teenagers. Can I say those teenagers? Los jóvenes, los adolescentes, right? A lot of teenagers want Joe Blues uh, job, okay? Why? Because he played video games for eight hours a day. Imagine, and he gets paid for it. John, it's a video game tester for a big video game company. It is, uh, is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. So what is his uh, occupation? What does he do? Él juega todo el día. Él es jugador de videojuegos. Ocho horas. Ocho horas, dice. Y dice de que, que no es aburrido porque él siempre gana. Mm -hmm. But what is exactly the occupation that he... Um, does. Como probador, evaluador de juegos, algo ah, así. él es un video game tester, es un probador de videojuegos, o sea, imagínense el trabajo de él es pasar wow. jugando, probando el juego, a ver si funciona, es decir, que trata de ver si existen todas las eh, imágenes que se logran ver ahí, Es decir, o sea, él está testing, probando si los juegos funcionan, ¿ok? So he it's like eight hours every single day doing that, right? So, in, and obviously he get paid for that, ¿ok? But um, it's probably not a, 
that is difficult or hard work, I would say, right? But um, we don't know, okay? But he is a video game tester. Okay, so let's continue with the dog walker. Um, Marcus. Please, please. I have uh, a question. Go ahead, Rusty. Sorry, Marcos. La, la pregunta donde, es que no entiendo bien cuando dice pain, en la, en la línea donde dice pain, en la que acabo de leer, dice pain, ya le digo, pero, ah, ahí no entiendo, mi, no sé qué leí, and he gets paid and for it. And he gets paid for it, y a él le pagan por eso. Ok, muchos jóvenes quisieran tener el trabajo de John Blue, él Pasa jugando videojuegos ocho horas al día y le pagan por eso. He gets paid for it, ok? Le pagan por eso. Sí. ¿Qué es paid? El pasado de pay. Si se puede el verbo en pasado es ese, ok? A él le pagan por eso, es decir, por pasar jugando ocho horas al día. So, let's continue. The Walker. So, go ahead, Marcos. Sería yo o Marco, don Marcos. Uh, sorry, sorry. Le habíamos dicho a Marlon, right? Marlon, and then it's you, Marcos. Okay, sorry. So, okay. Marlon, you are first, and then it's Marcos. Sorry. So, Becky. Yo hago el otro, no hay problema. Okay, go ahead, Marlon. No problem. Go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Becky Peck walk in the park every day for many hours, right? Or Shane, Becky is a professional dog walker. She walk dog for other people. Sometimes she take 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay, nice, Marlon, Alexander, very good. So imagine this is a dog walker, okay? So es una paseadora de perros, verdad? Paseadora de mascotas, okay? But it says just dogs, right? It says Becky Peck, so that's her name. She walks, las S hay que sonarlas, right? She walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine. ¿Qué quiere decir eso de rain or shine? Llueva. O soleo. O esté soleado. Ok. En palabras salvadoreñas decimos yo en el tren relampague, ahí voy a estar, <laughs> right? So that is rain or shine. That means that sí, she yo. is working with dogs every single day. Teacher. Ya. Yeah? Eso sería como una... ¿Cómo le puede decir? Como un dicho se podría decir en, como Estados Unidos, en Estados Unidos. Yeah, definitely it is. O sea, es una expresión de shine. ellos, right? Rain or shine. Es que le está diciendo usted, llueve, truene, relampague, vos tenés que hacer esto o, o lo que sea de lo que estén tratando, right? No importa si está lloviendo o soleado, usted lo tiene que hacer. Rain or shine. So Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks stocks for other people. Sometimes imagine she takes 20, my goodness, 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay. So I don't know if this one is an interesting job. Okay. For hit, people hitting El Salvador. I don't think so, right? Imagínese usted paseando 20 perritos al mismo tiempo. Ay, no me votan. Exactly, that's not easy, that's not easy. So, and that is what, what she does, right? So, let's continue, Marcos. Thank you, Miss. Is Carlos Ruiz. He's a busy man, busy man, busy man, busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teach. His salary is in grade, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. 
Very nice. So Carlos Ruiz, he is a BC, okay? BC man, un hombre ocupado, right? He is a BC man. He plans lessons, grades, homeworks, helps with after school activities. Of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy, okay? So, aquí el verbo teaches, right? ¿Cuál es el presente del verbo? Teaches. Enseñar. Enseñar. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es la forma presente? Porque este es el tercera persona. Teach. 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 Ok, teach. teach. Ese sería el presente, right? Teaches es el pasado eh, participio, right? So, his salary is in great, but he, but that's ok. Ok, so, a, los, a sus estudiantes de Carlos Ruiz les gusta mucho la, la clase de él, right? So, he's always busy, like all teachers, right? So, doing lessons, plans, homeworks, and everything, right? So do we have new words right here? No? Okay, so broccoli, it's good for you. Do you like broccoli? Teacher. Yeah? No? Eh, yes, yo me quedé con la, con la duda de he plans, listens. Él planea las, le las lecciones, algo así. Yeah, Definitely, él planifica sus clases, ok, ah, okay. He plans lessons, él planifica sus clases, ok, so let's see broccoli, it's good for you, do you like broccoli? Yes, I, I do. Like ok, I no, see that I you, don't. you are healthy, well, no, no. Yeah, ok, I so, I like it. Let's see, broccoli, it's good for you. This is the name of the unit, right? So this is the food uh, pyramid, okay? So the idea of this is uh, to know the food that you need to eat and the one that you need to avoid, right? So you need to avoid be eating, 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 eating every day, right? A lot of things, especially grains, right? So let's see the pyramid, okay? This is the um, pyramid, food pyramid, okay? So let's see, we have, we are going to start from the bottom to the uh, top, right? So let's read the bottom, okay? Let's see, uh, Tiffany, help us read the grains. Mm, okay. Mm, bread and cereal. Chaser. Uh, Rip. And noodles. And pasta. So these ones are the grains. Okay. So look, the pyramids from the big, from the bottom until the top, right? So what is on the top? The idea is that you need to eat a few, a few, a few, a few things from the top. But right here, this is the base, okay? So we need to be able to eat bread, cereal, crackets. ¿Cuáles son las crackets? Galleta. Galletas. Galletas. So they say cookies as well, right? So, but normally the, saladas. the cookie will be like the sweet cookie. And this one, it's like, aha, uh -huh, like, not taste, Salad. right? Saladina, no sé cómo decimos nosotros, right? Dietética, right? So these ones are crackets, crackers. Rice, noodles and pasta, no es lo mismo, right? So noodles. Yo pensaba son... que eran de trigo, mis. O de espagueti, los noodles. Uh -huh. Yeah, these crackers are from trigo as well, right? As in the trigo, as in the, no sé qué otra eh, avena. ingrediente, avena, okay? So, pero las crackers son normalmente así las galletitas redondas tronadoras, ¿verdad? Que usted las come y crackers, por eso se llama crackers, de quebrarse, mire. 
Ok. So, noodles and pasta, right? El pasta ya está cocida y el noodle está así en crudo. Es el spaghetti. Ok, so let's see. Let's move on with the fruits. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nelson, help us. Okay. Reading the fruits. Fruits. Bananas. Orange. Strawberries, mangoes, and apples. Okay, so thank you, Nelson. Uh, fruit, bananas, orange, strawberries, mangoes, apples. What other food do you know? Fruits, que otra conocen? Watermelon. Watermelon. Uh -huh. Grapes. Jocotes. Jocote, jocote, it's jocote, right? Teacher. Grapes. Grapes. ¿Cómo se dirá pera en English? How do you say pera? Um, peach. Pear. No, no. Pear. Peach. Pear. Pear. Fish uh -huh. and melocotón. Uh -huh. uh -huh. There you go. Uh -huh. That would be the... Um, ¿Cómo se llama el otro? Que son, le dicen varios nombres a la misma fruta. El melocotón durazno, right? So peach. El peach mm -hmm. es el melocotón. De la pera sí sería la like pear. Right, pear. 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 Uh -huh. Then we have. Las ananas. Uh, ¿Cómo se le, cómo se le dice? Ah, sí, ananas. 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 Orange. ¿Qué es esta cuestión aquí? Mi papaya se llama papaya. Papaya. Sí. Papaya, it's papaya, right? So that's the same. How do you say la sandilla? Watermelon. That would be the watermelon. Watermelon. Okay. So, grapes. Okay, los grapes. ¿Qué más tenemos? Avocado. Avocado. Nice, Marcos. It is a fruit, right? It is. It is a fruit. Kiwi, uh -huh. kiwi. What else? Pineapple. 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 Okay, pineapple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the, the other, right, the mamon, is, uh, those are like in Spanish, right? So, coconut, coconut is a fruit, right? I'm sorry, Marlon. Los nances. Nances, they are nances. So Green apples. Green apples. Which La one? Uva. How do you how do you say uva? Grapes. 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 Okay, very good. Grapes. Thank you. Okay, so let's move on with the vegetables. Okay, so we are good with the fruits. Uh, let's see, read the, the fruits, um, Darlene. Vegetables, I'm sorry. Okay, me. Vegetable, broccoli, tomatoes, carrot, lettuce, potatoes. Okay, so let's see. Broccoli. Carrots, okay, los carrots, lettuce, okay, no me diga lettuce, okay, lettuce, ¿cuál es la lettuce? Lechuga, lechuga, lechuga. okay, lettuce, lettuce, lettuce lo escribo, right, like in Spanish, right, but lettuce, uh, potatoes, okay, potatoes, Tomatoes, right? Tomatoes, potatoes. What else? How do you say 
eh, repollo. Red chicken. Red chicken. Okay, it's very nice. Chicken, re chicken, repollo, right? So, uh huh. How do you say repollo? Uh huh. No sabe. ¿Qué va a decir? Algo así. Cabbage. Okay. Cabbage. 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 Okay. Repollo. Cabbage. Okay. Nice. What other vegetables do we know? Onion. Onion. Okay. So how do you say berenjena? Sí. I'm sorry, berenjena. Berenjena. La berenjena es una verdura, right? I don't like the berenjena. Eggplant. Eggplant. There you go. Eggplant. That would be berenjena. Eggplant. ¿Qué más vegetables tenemos? Cucumber. Onions. Uh, cucumber, uh, it is, right? It is a vegetable. Cucumber. Teacher. What else? Yeah, Marlon. What do you say? Uh, cauliflower. Okay. How do you say cauliflower? Uh -huh. Cauliflower is a vegetable, right? It's family with the um, with the broccoli, broccoli, right? That would be cauliflower. That would be cauliflower. Cauliflower. They are friends. They are like cousins, right? Son primos con el broccoli. Uh -huh. Cauliflower and broccoli. They are cousins. What else? ¿Qué otro tenemos? Vegetable. Chile, How, <laughs> that would be green pepper. Uh -huh. eh, green pepper, green red pepper. pepper. Verde, hay rojo, el right? Uh -huh. okay. How do you say frijol? Beans. 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 Beans, ok, ahí entraría, aunque creo que las semillas están aparte, right? So, nice, let's continue with the next. Now we have diary. What is diary? Lácteos. Lácteos, yes. muy bien, diary. Los derivados de la vaca. Ok, la, el diary, no es todos los días, ahí no dice daily, que es todos los días, diary, right? So, sí. lácteos, lácteos. So, we have meal, cheese, a jugger, and what else? So, todo lo Cream. de queso, right? I'm sorry, Liliana. Cream. Cream. Rechis. Rechis, <laughs> el requesillo, right? <laughs> so, all the cheese, right? So, todos los quesos que nosotros tenemos aquí, que duro, que majado, que blando, que morolique, que capita, que sin capita. <laughs> no sé, right? So, those are, are the diary, right? So, the idea of the food pyramid is that you need to be eating less, right? So, entre más arriba va la pirámide, menos porciones en teoría usted va a comer, right? So let's see, meat and other proteins, okay? Esta es la carne y otras proteínas, meat and other proteins. Um, let's see, Liliana, Jamilet, help us read the food that we have there. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, chicken, nuts, beef, and eggs. Okay, so we have all the meat, right? Can be chicken, beef, fish, and pro protein. So we have the eggs, nuts. What are some of those nuts? Manilla. I'm sorry, como dijeron? Las semillas. 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 O sea, ahí hay de varias. Puede ser un mix, right? But they are the nuts. 
Uh, beans. Beans. It's a protein. Mm -hmm. Why? What else? ¿Qué más tenemos ahí? I guess. Rice is protein, teacher. No, the rice is right here. This is un grano. Grain. Uh, grains. Grain. El arroz hay que comer. Poco también. Bueno, pero está en la primera pestaña, right? So, let the last one, that would be the fat, oil, and sugar. Sandra Elizabeth, help us. Permítame que no logro ver bien, teacher. ¿Cuál me dijo, teacher? La última, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. The last one, yeah. Uh, cream, candy, potato chips, oil, y butter. Mm, there you go, butter. Okay, so we have right here the last part, right, in the pyramid. So the idea is that this ones we need to eat but a few, a few portions, right? Entonces hay que comer poquito. Y es a veces lo que más come uno, right? So, lo potatoes. Comer, Ajá, lo que Porque no lo hay que... Está arriba, es lo más importante. Pizza. No, no, my goodness, Marcos, no. It's... Esto es, sí, va a ver, menos, lo de menos arriba, que hay que comer menos. Let's see, imagine candies, lo que a usted le gusta, comer dulcitos. Oil, you know, si no va frito, no se lo come, dice. Ok, so, hasta el pan frito quisieran algunos. Ok, so, butter, candies, potato chips. Esos potato chips, o sea, este es porque es de papa, pero aquí entran todos los snacks, todos los chips. Ahí van todos esos churritos de la diana, toda esa chuchada, right? Usted le puede decir snacks o les puede decir chips, ¿ok? Eh, el chips es el que truena, right? el crunchy, por eso se llama chips. En this case, it says potatoes porque es casual esa bolsa de, de papitas. Cheetos. De, de, los cheetos, ajá, los cheetos. So all of those are chips or snacks, ¿ok? Así le va a llamar. El oil, el aceite, right? Oil. So, candies, aquí entra todo lo dulce, prácticamente, okay? So, it says, uh, food pyramid. Let's see, ayúdeme a leer ahí ese pedacito. Eh, veamos. Dios mío, nadie tiene cámara aquí. Tiffany, Tiffany, food pyramid, right here. Food priming is food good health, health, uh, eat a lot, a lot of grains, vegetables, uh, and fruit, eat some dairy meat and other protein, eat very little, lady, fat, oil, and sugar. Okay, very good. So this is the food pyramid, right? It says for good health. Para la buena salud, right? For good health. Health is salud. Okay, for good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables and fruit. Hasta ahí puede comer bastante. Eat some diary, meat and other proteins. Más o menos, coma un poco de lácteos, carnes y proteínas. Sí, más o menos. Eat a very little fat, oil, and sugar, okay? Y coma muy poquito grasa, aceite, y azúcar, okay? So, mm, no creo yo que le hagamos mucho caso a la, a la food pyramid, but nada, at least Nosotros we Nosotros lo tomamos right? al revés. <laughs> sí, así como dice Marcos. Al revés, de arriba para abajo, lo que menos queremos comer. Y a veces uno dice, ay, no voy a pedir arroz, pero come cuatro tortillas. O sea, lo mismo. Por eso hay muchas salsa. enfermedades hoy en día. Yeah, that's why we have a bueno, lot of pronto. illness. 
illness. We have a lot of illness, enfermedades, right? Because we don't really care about what we eat, right? So, usted tiene hambre y lo primero que se le atraviesa se come, o sea, no, no estamos como, ay, quiero ver este donde ven la pirámide. Ah, este mejor como poco. Es, nosotros vamos parejo, lo que hay en el comedor eso come, ¿verdad? No anda viendo si, si está dentro de la clasificación de poquito o bastante. But anyway, right? So that's something that we need to know, okay? And it's good to know it in English, okay? So how about some sandwiches? So this is a question. How about some sandwiches? And this is uh, Adam and Amanda. And it says, hey, uh, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad, sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay, so do we have new words right here? Habrá alguna palabra que no la haya escuchado anteriormente? No? No, Miss. Okay, so let's see, because of the time, just one couple, okay? So let's see. Um, Berosley, B, Amanda, um, Marcos, B, Adam. You are Adam. Go ahead, Marcos and Berosley. Okay, miss. What? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. Um, let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay, very nice. So let's continue, okay, because of the time. So what is important right here is the grammar part right here, some and any, okay? So, creo que tal vez anteriormente usted ya ha visto estas palabras, ¿ok? They are very famous. Some and any, ¿ok? Count and not count nouns. Creo que en módulo anterior, si no estoy mal, tuvieron que haber visto contables y no contables. No estoy segura, ¿ok? But there are objects or there are things that we can count. And there are some others that we are not able to count. Cosas que yo puedo contar y cosas que yo no puedo contar. Esos son los contables y los no contables. ¿Y eso cuál es? Por ejemplo, uh, you can count... Um, you can count uh, potatoes, you can count, uh, let's see, carrots, apples, so children's desks, objects, right? So usted viene y me dice, mira, aquí tengo 20 manzanas, right? Look, I have 20 beds, okay? So you can count. But there are some other um, objects and also food that we are not able to count. Rice, for example, it's something that we are not able to count it. Yo no creo que usted almuerce y diga, ay, hoy me voy a comer cinco mil arroces. No, right? We just eat. So that's uncountable. For example, uh, milk. Okay, milk, all the liquids. En inglés, eh, esto, hay una variación entre American and British, okay? But in, in, in American, so liquids are uncountables. Todos los líquidos son 
no contables. Y alguien entra ahí en discusión y dice, mire, pero si yo embolso el agua en botellas. Ah, now yes, you can count. Pero lo que va a contar es la botella de agua, no en sí el contenido, el líquido, right? Usted me puede decir, I have 20 bottles of water, ok? That is countable, the 20 bottles, ok? So, what else is not countable? For example, the sand, la arena, right? So, you are not able to count, right? Son cosas imposibles de contar. So, that the is star. the difference. The starts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are not, um, they are not countable. So, why I'm mentioning this? Porque usted tiene que saber qué cosas, objetos, comida, o sea, objetos, lo que sea, qué es lo que yo sí puedo contar y qué es lo que yo no puedo contar, ¿ok? Para hacer uso correcto de some and any. Vamos a mandar aquí un ejemplo y creo que tengo otro, deje ver a dónde. Eh, some and any, ¿ok? So aquí hay una imagen que... Ay, pero no se mira bien, permítame. Some and any. Normalmente, just for you to keep it easily, some, it's positive and questions. Normalmente yo la palabra son, porque si usted traduce, ambas son bien similares en el significado. Pero, ¿cuál voy a usar? Aquí no es como le digo yo por molestar. Ah, yo del que me acuerde. Yo cualquiera de los dos voy a decir. Lo importante es que lo diga. No. Ok, no es el que yo quiero decir, es el que corresponde. Ok, normally sun will be for positive sentences. Ok, and also questions. Y el any can be for positive as well, but that would be an exception. And normally it's for negative, negative sentences and also questions. So let's see. Hay otra. Eso sí me confunde un poco, Miss. Sí, yo, yes. yo entiendo. Yo entiendo. Deje ver, aquí le voy a mandar otra. Otra imagen, pero la que yo quería no. No la encuentro. Ahí va unido con I am so many. So, let's see. Aquí hay una imagen donde dice using some or using any. Pero no sé por qué no me la deja aquí cargarla aquí. Veamos. Ah, bueno, así le va a ir. So, let's see some any. Ahí se le manda el uso, ¿ok? Uh, but I, as I told you, some is used to mean a little or a few, ¿ok? So, we can use both with uh, countables and uncountables, but um, some, as I told you, it's normally positive, okay? Normalmente es positivo, mire. Um, bueno, this one is a question. Do we need any eggs? Let's get some. No, we don't need any, okay? So, acá lo que usted tiene que determinar es el contexto de la oración o pregunta, si viene siendo positiva o negativa, contable o no contable, ¿ok? So, do we need any breath? El breath in English, British, it's contable, but in American, it's uncountable, ¿ok? A veces es bueno saber si es igual en el idioma inglés británico, inglés norteamericano, porque viene un british y le dice, uh, do we need bre any bread? Uh, yes, let's get uh, some. Or no, we don't need any bread. So this one is uh, countable, pero alguien de otro país pueda que lo vea el pan como un countable. Okay, so 
there are differences between the, the languages, right? But in this case, since we are learning American English, so um, bread, it's uncountable. Uh, let's see. We have examples right here. Uh, neck, eggs, uh, sandwich and sandwiches. Uh, specific, I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. In general, it says eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. So, hay una imagen, no sé si les cayó al final. Yes, teacher. Pero este, acá donde me confundo, porque entiendo que son es para referirse a los contables. Y en I es para los no contables. Entonces, aquí en las afirmativas de, dice, there is some cheese in the fridge. Y luego dice en la negativa, there isn't any cheese. Entonces ahí, ¿cómo le hago? Some es algunos, creo, Ajá. si no me equivoco. Y any es ninguno. Uh -huh. es, que, es que ahí, por ahí más o menos viene. Acuérdese positivo o negativo. No, no me, no me cargue esta imagen que quiero enviarles, pero no Pero sé. está en una sección que lo vimos en una sección. Sí, es que ya lo, yo recuerdo que esto ya se había mencionado. Solo que aquí como que dice nuns es como adjetivos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Adjetivos contables. Que es como, vaya, por lo menos en el, en el ejemplo que dice, it's, a, it's are good for you. Lo está tomando como de una forma general, que no lo puede, o sea, es, no está contándolo, sino que como it's, los huevos en general, son buenos para ti. Y en cambio en el específico, ahí sí lo está contando. Porque dice, an, eating, and eat, and eat. Se me va la pronunciación del, pero ahí dice, uh -huh. estoy comiéndome un huevo. Ok, Entonces, definitely, ok. Por eso le digo, usted tiene que determinar si yo lo que, de lo que estoy hablando lo cuento o no lo cuento. Ok, el any casi siempre, como Nelson lo mencionó, es bien general. Do we have any milk? ¿Tenemos algo de leche? O sea, yo no puedo decir tenemos una pulgada, un centímetro de leche. O sea, no, el líquido, téngalo presente que el líquido siempre lo voy a tener como no contable. Ok, pero si yo digo, hey, do we have some... Apples, ahí sí, yo las cuento. Son, es como lo que yo puedo contar. ¿Tenemos algunas manzanas? Sí, tenemos 10. Ok, Marlon. En el caso de cuando dice usted líquido, ¿verdad? La gasolina es un líquido, pero yo puedo decir galones. Eso sí ah, se puede contar. Yo, y sí, claro. El líquido en sí, gasolina, no. Pero yo digo, me da... Le digo al de la gasolinera, deme cinco galones. Ahí sí, pero estoy contando en sí la unidad de medida que estoy utilizando para medir ese líquido. Lo mismo puede decir, mire, pero yo puedo contar las cajas de leche. Ah, sí, ahí sí, pero estamos contando el, con, el container, right? la caja en sí donde yo estoy echando los líquidos. Puede ser caja, puede ser botella, puede ser bolsa, puede ser... Lo que sea, pero ahí sí ya aplica el contable. Yo digo eh, el how much y how many. Eso es para WH questions. Se acuerdan que las hemos visto. How much and how many. Yo le puedo decir, hey, eh, how many students are in the classroom? ¿Cuántos estudiantes habemos? Ah, espérenme, habemos uno dos, y empiezo usted y cuenta. Pero vengo yo y le digo, hey, eh, how much... Uh, let's see how much sugar do you have. No va a contar el azúcar. Entonces usted dice, un, eh, no es contable, ¿ok? Or how much money. El money, de alguna forma, American lo pone como uncountable. 
ok, como contab incontable de manera general. Ahora, si usted me dice, mira, I have 20 bucks, I have 20 dollars, ahí sí, ya lo tiene usted, digamos, contado, right? So we are going to see tomorrow this exercise. Si usted lo puede adelantar haciéndolo, ve ahí. Si es positive, negative, countable or uncountable, para que empecemos por ahí el día de mañana. So I have just one minute that I need to validate the attendance. Habían varios que no me, no me respondieron. Brenda Lisbeth. Javier Enrique. Sí, como vi, yo no me gustan los mensajes. Le mandé los mensajes. Javier Enrique, no está. Josué Rubén. Present teacher. Ok, Rubén. Juan de Jesús. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Mario Alfonso. Milena de Los Ángeles. Milena, eh, Reina Margarita. Este teacher, es que no me podía conectar a la plataforma. Ok, so se queda sin asistencia Milena, Mario Alfonso, Javier Enrique, and Brenda Lisset. So time is over, I hope to see you tomorrow, ok? So mañana vamos a revisar plataforma, espero que todos estén set para no estar ahí el último día como eh, presionando que termine, ok? So, bye bye, thank you, take care, good night, see you tomorrow. Thank you, miss, good night. Good, good night. night.